Hi guys, <clears throat> this is your reading for the 8th through the 15th. This reading is for my Saggies. Let's see. Who is this person? Or what energy is present for this week? Who is this person? What do they have going on? Who is this person coming towards my Saggies energetically? Ooh, death, Scorpio energy here. I feel like there's definitely been an ending between you and someone else, but it was something that you, you felt like um, probably should come to an end anyway, or things were happening where you guys felt like, okay, this is just not working for me. Something has to change in this situation, okay? I feel like this person is trying to initiate some of those changes. They're really um, trying to get themselves together, okay? Then you have the Seven of Wands here, Leo energy. Hmm. They're having a hard time, though. And sometimes it is hard for people to really um, look at themselves, like, objectively and try to figure out, okay, now I'm, I'm, this is what I'm doing and I probably need to change this up. It's hard for people to, to do that sometimes, to do a self-check. But I do feel like this person is really, really trying, but they're struggling with it because they're like defending who they are and defending what they've done and, um, you know, just kind of like having a hard time battling with themselves even here, okay? <clears throat> Six of Cups. They're battling with themselves, but at the same time, it's like the memories of you are really kind of like flooding them and they can't get away from it. So even though they're they're not really taking accountability for their actions, there's something that keeps like slapping them in the face about this connection that you guys share that is like no other. Um, this is definitely a soulmate of yours, somebody that you've spent a lot of time with, good and bad times. And so whenever this person tries to move forward, they it's like constant thoughts flooding in of what you guys shared here. Strong Scorpio, Leo, fixed energy in your reading. Okay, a fixed sign. Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius energy, okay? And then we have the Four of Cups. And then they shut down. Because I think there's something that hurts them. You know, when people feel like they've done something wrong, um, and instead of like really facing that head on and feeling all of those emotions, sometimes people will shut down and, you know, just try to block things out. And I feel like this is what this person is doing because, you know, it's hard for somebody to sit up and think that, you know, the person that really, really made them happy, that really fulfilled them is gone. And I feel like that's who you guys were for this person. At one point in time, you were really, really happy. And, um, and, and the fact that that's not there anymore for this person, they have kind of shut down. I don't feel like they're dating anyone. I feel like they're kind of shut down emotionally at this point. Okay. Cancer energy there. A lot of cards fell out. Um, I do see the chariot there. Queen of Cups here really wanting to move forward and be successful in their lives and and thinking wanting a successful relationship but really not wanting to be truly um vulnerable emotionally it's like this person is fighting with themselves here so i'm going to take these up i see the knight of cups as i pick these cards up so it's like they are um kind of back and forth their emotions change frequently okay a lot of mood changes i feel <clears throat> eight of cups a lot of people have gotten the eight of cups in their readings today um i feel like definitely people are coming back um uh, if they haven't physically come back it's definitely on their minds so i'm definitely feeling like i know i use the word definitely a lot <laughs> I don't know why. It's one of those words that you say and then you find yourself like constantly saying it. But anyway, um, yeah, this person wants to come back. This person probably left because 
they felt like they weren't getting everything that they needed. But it wasn't until they actually left that they now feel like, okay, that was everything that I needed. So definitely um, some emo, there I go, uh, some emotional ups and downs, back and forth, forth. <clears throat> Piscean energy. Let's see what this is. Oh, judgment. Judgment here. They're keeping themselves away. They're keeping themselves away because, again, I feel that um, here. Judgment is all about being able to look at yourself in the mirror and see the real you. And so I do feel that this person is, is trying to protect themselves, really having a hard time looking at the good and the bad in themselves and holding themselves accountable for whatever actions, whatever negative actions that they brought upon the relationship that caused it to fail. Um, at the same time, this person, I feel has decided in their heart that they want to come back but they haven't made any movement towards you i feel i feel like this person in their head it's like they need temperance here their head and their heart needs to be in balance for them to make the right decision for themselves and not um self-sabotage okay here I see a struggle between their head and their heart. In their heart, they want to come back. In their head, they're standing by what those faulty beliefs, okay? But constantly getting knocked back down to reality with the Six of Cups energy and reminiscing about you guys, not being able to get you guys off of their mind. Again, Scorpio energy, strong Scorpio here for you guys, okay? Two of Wands, staying right here, stagnant, stagnant, knowing exactly what the hell they want to do and not taking the initiative to do it. Basically feeling like all is lost. They have a decision to make. Do they continue to self-sabotage or do they go for what they want and that's you guys? Aries energy. And the Six of Swords, wanting to work things out, wanting to talk things out, wanting to make a solid decision. They haven't, they haven't yet, because they're not, their head and their heart is, they're, they're not in sync. They're like battling, fighting against each other here. What does this person really want with Sagittarius? What do they really want with Sagittarius? Queen of Cups. I feel like they want to love you. They want to be with you. A lot of cards. God dog it. No, 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 no. I'm going to leave that one down there. Page of Pentacles. I feel like this is an apology. They're afraid to like just be vulnerable though here with this Queen of Cups energy. They definitely love you. Definitely want to be with you in their heart. Feeling like they need to make an apology but haven't decided solidly to actually do that to make things right. Because then it would make them look like they're wrong. And they don't want you to feel like that they're wrong in this situation. Or they were wrong in this situation. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Knight of Pentacles here. See? They're facing each other. Every time they start to go in the direction that their heart is pulling them in, they stop. They stop. They go backwards. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Cups here, and you have the Ten of Cups up here. They want to be happy. They want to be with you guys. 
but they are really in a pickle because I see this this person doing a lot of self-sabotaging. They talk themselves out of doing what it is that they really want to do and that's to be with you. Piscean energy here. Pisces, um, Cancer I feel, Scorpio energy very strong here. Uh, Aries is here. Leo and Aquarius. I think I already said uh, Taurus energy could be in the Aries Taurus Cusper, but um, what they really want is to be with you guys. They 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 want to spend time with you. They want to be with you on an emotional level um, and, and be totally engulfed in this relationship. But their head is keeping them from doing it. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.